and welcome to Grapple Games TV. This is Josh Fazard, and we've got another Friday Night ma Magic Hot Seat match for you uh, between Ricky and Derek. And Ricky is playing a red aggro deck, and Derek is playing his blue, green, white band deck. All right, so Derek leads off with the Temple of Mystery, laying him scry, which he leaves on top of his deck. Ricky lays down a mountain and brings out the Fire Drinker Seder. Fire Drinker's a very aggressive one drop, 2 1, power and toughness. Um, but if it takes damage, then the controller will also take that damage. It can also be pumped up, but that also does damage to you. So uh, Ricky swings in. Derek is down to 18 life. Did not have the uh, Azorius Charm to pop it back on top. He plays the uh, Temple of Enlightenment, another scry, another card left on top. And Ricky swings in for two more damage. Derek is down to 16. Looks like uh, Ricky lost, uh, missed a land drop. So he must have a handful of uh, two mana creatures. Things like Ash Salad and perhaps Burning Tree Emissary. And he plays the Mutavault and a Firefist Striker. Firefist Striker, when, it's, when it attacks with Battalion, target creature cannot block. Derek lays down a breeding pool, tapped, and then cast a Sylvan Curated. Alright, another mountain for Ricky. And out comes an Ash Sellet. And him and the Fire Drinker swing in. Derek blocks with the Carrioted, so he's down to 14. Looks like Derek is doing a quick mana check. Find out how much mana he can produce right now. Yep, just enough for Elspeth. So that's definitely going to put a uh, hamper on Ricky's aggressive attack. Spamming out three soldier tokens every turn to block. Alright, so Ricky swings in with the Ash Salad, and Derek just jumps with one of the soldiers. And Ricky passes turn. Alright, two soldiers into the red zone, bringing Ricky down to 18. And then Derek taps four mana for a Supreme Verdict. Getting rid of uh, both of Ricky's creatures, as well as his soldiers. But Elspeth sticks around to call three more out. And then Ricky uses Searing Blood deals two damage to uh, one of the soldiers and if that creature dies then deals three to the controller. Derek decides to dissolve that and gets a scry. All 
All right, so Ricky brings out the Rakdos Cackler and unleashes it. 2-2 two, two that cannot block. As well as a Firefist Striker. Unfortunately, Elspeth looks like is at six loyalty. Alright, so Derek decides to plus up Elspeth. Popping out three more soldiers. And then pass his turn. So Ricky could activate Muta Vault um, and then swing with three of his creatures to uh, trigger Battalion. And then one of th he can make one creature not block, but really is not pushing through any damage since Derek has six soldiers. And Derek definitely has all of his mana up, so he could have some counter spells in there. Alright, so Ricky decides to go ahead and scoop and move on to game two. So it looks like Ricky maybe just didn't get the land. He he needed uh, at the right times to push through the damage right away. And then um, Derek able to resolve it. And Elspeth just really puts a hamper on Ricky doing damage. Alright, so here we are on game two. Ricky leads off with a Mutavault. Derek brings in his Temple of Enlightenment, Scries. Leaving the card on top. Ricky plays a mountain, activates Mutavault, and swings into the red zone for two damage, bringing Derek down to 18 life. Alright, Plains comes in for Derek. Another mountain for Ricky. Three mana to bring out Chandra's Phoenix. Which has haste. Oh, Derek had the Azorius Charm. Pops it back on top of the library. Another Temple of Enlightenment, another Scry, another card left on top. So Ricky draws his card and just puts it back out, swings in, two damage. Derek is down to 16. And it looks like Ricky plays another Mutaball. So he could get in for six damage next turn if he activated both Mutavaults. Derek plays his own Muta Vault and passes the turn. Ricky plays a Mountain. Looks like he's trying to decide should he cast another card or activate the Mutavaults. Derek most likely has some counter magic. How far into the game are you? So he attempts to cast another Chandra's Phoenix. It resolves. And then Derek swings in for four damage in the air. He has a red and colorless mana source available, perhaps for the lightning strike in his hand. Alright, so he ha looks like Derek plays Supreme Verdict, and then Ricky plays Lightning Strike, gets back both of his Phoenixes, and Derek is at 9 life, tapped out, 
Alright, it looks like Ricky was thinking about playing a burning tree, but instead decides to bring out the Phoenix. Another two damage. Derek is down to seven life. All right, another breeding pool comes in tapped for Derek. And he passes turn. All right, so Ricky activates his Mutavolt. Swings in for four damage. Derek is at three life. Looks like Derek has a uh, detention sphere, maybe some supreme verdicts in his hand. Or, uh, can't quite see him, but maybe it was a Sphinx's revelation. Looks like Derek is thinking pretty hard whether he can come out of this. For example, if he does have a Sphinx's Revelation, he tries to cast it, Ricky can, in response, cast a lightning strike or something and just kill him. Or skull crack. Looks like Derek decides to go ahead and just move on to game three. Alright, so this time Ricky was able to uh, be aggressive enough, enough to get the damage in. And Let's see if, uh, what happens in game three. Alright, Derek leads off with his Temple of Enlightenment with a scry. Ricky leads off with a mountain and no turn one. Alright, so he brings out the cackler. And then Derek casts a ratchet bomb. Ricky swings in with the cackler, bringing Derek to 18. Derek puts a counter on the ratchet bomb. Brings in a hollow fountain and an elixir of immortality. And passes turn. Ricky swings in for two more damage with the cackler. Looks like he has been missing a couple land drops. I see a fanatic Amogus in his hand. Needs to get up to four mana for that. Burning tree. Just needs one more for that one. Alright, Derek passes turn again. And you go ahead and sacrifice the Ratchet Bond to blow up anything with the Converted Man to cast one. And then he's also using his Elixir of Immortality to gain five life and reshuffle his graveyard back into his library. So Elixir resolves first, then the Ratchet Bomb, so the Ratchet Bomb would still be in the, in the graveyard. All 
All right, another temple, another scry for Derek. Being able to manipulate your deck and put uh, so you don't get mana flooded or uh, get the lands you need. It's pretty powerful for the control decks right now. And Ricky cast a Ash Sell it, two mana, hasty. Swings in, brings Derek down to 19. Another scry land for Derek. Two more damage from Ash Zealot from Ricky. And he brings out Burning Tree Emissary, which Derek dissolves. That will definitely put Ricky behind, depending on what he was going to cast off the mana from Burning Tree. Oh no, here comes Elspeth again. Very similar to game one. Ricky's behind on mana, and uh, once Derek's able to resolve the Elspeth, it's very hard for Ricky to come back from that. So we got a Chandra's Phoenix coming in. Um, Derek decides to block the Ash Sellet with all three. Ash Sellet has first strike, so it takes out two of them before they do damage. So he didn't really need to block with all three, but he's probably feeling pretty safe. And then takes two damage from Chandra's Phoenix. Alright, so he casts a Supreme Verdict, clearing the field, then afterwards pluses up Elspeth to put three more soldiers out. Alright, so Ricky casts the Fire Drinker Seder for one mana and passes turn. Hollowed Fountain comes in tap for Derek. Then he taps four mana for Jace. Minus it to reveal the top three cards. Ricky will separate those into two piles. Looks like a dissolve and a dissolve and a land. Derek takes the land and dissolve. Three more soldiers come out from Elspeth. And at this point, it seems like it's pretty much over. Derek has counter, ma counter magic plus mana available. Yep. <laughs> Ricky reveals his hand, so we know all the stuff he could not cast. Yeah, Boris Reckoner um, cannot be cast off two mountains and unmutable. All right, so Derek takes that match and uh, was able to control the game successfully. Well, appreciate uh, everybody watching. If you liked the video, please like it and share it, and we'll see you next time.